Alright, what's up everybody? This is the second episode of my road to World Rendering Championships. What is the first step? What is the step before the votes? It's the JVOC. It's the Junior World Rendering Championships. And in two days, the Latvian team's qualification race is going to take place in, like, near my home, near my hometown, Sigulda. And I must make the team. Today, we're here to have a key session, a key training session in, which is basically a direction workout. And as you can see, here we have the map. I made the course to be quite easy, but I just have to maintain my direction and the diverse controls are going to make the difference for my confidence, for the direction, because it will be, I think, mostly a direction-based orientering. So let's get this on, let's do this. Hello, hello, hello. This is all I'll need. Done! Woo -woo. Oh my god, I don't know why I feel so tired. <laughs> I mean, those were intervals. I, I took them a little hard, some of them. However, I think I'm ready to get the direction controls perfectly right in two days. So, I think that's it. Let's go to Saturday and see you then. All right, today is the competition and I am nervous as hell. My, my legs aren't working that well. I didn't sleep that good. I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. In the south, and I got a long night ahead. Sharing a room with my friends. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks my training has worked because the first half of the race was just a white forest where you just had to use your compass and your brain to see where are the clearings. And it was like truly, truly easy for me because I. I did my training and I'm really proud of myself. Like to the seventh control, it was it was difficult, but I had my confidence and I found it quite well. However, the second part of the race was quite terrifying. After the ninth control, the green just just messed up my head. I must say that I was getting really tired and after the <laughs> the tenth control, the eleventh was actually quite easy, but I just couldn't focus and I, I made like a minute mistake. And after a mistake I did another mistake because that is how it things go in orienteering. I ran without a plan. Considering the pace on the first part, I was allowed to make a couple of mistakes, so I got the second place in the selection race. I'm so happy. So yeah, let's go! Ah. And Timo, you also got the second place today, didn't, didn't you? Yes. By one minute? One thirty? Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm so glad I did a great race for the first selection race for the national team that is going to Jaywalk. And I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I'm feeling the, the feeling that I, I might make the team quite easily if I manage to keep my race together for the next selection race. And yeah, I must confess, for the next 12 days I didn't do a single orienteering run. I went on a summer camp, which I don't regret at all. But now, let's get back to orienteering. So I called up my home in Nils and we went on a great orienteering training two days before the Latvian Championships, which was the second selection race for the national team. And as you can see, the terrain is extremely beautiful. Yo, just finished the workout. It was it was great. It was great. The forest was really, really cool to run in. The terrain was quite beautiful with some marshes, some white runnable areas. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling ready. So let's recreate this performance on Saturday. And by the way, Nil hasn't yet finished, so uh, where is he? I don't know, it's quite late. It's getting actually quite dark in the forest. So let's wait for him to finish. By the way, I have a new drip, some new merch from True Story. As you can see, it's looking fine as hell. It is, it's truly comfortable, so it's on fleet. Oh, let's go, Neil finally came back. Where did you get lost? Yeah, I ran right here over this hill. Then over here and then this was just crazy. I had to go around again and lost like 10 minutes in there. Yeah, it's been... Hey! This is the day of the Latvian Championships long distance, so I am excited, I'm ready to go. So let's go, let's perform, and let's do this. Hey. 
ain't got no drugs, I'm turning to an asshole. What up, what up, we're out here beasting right now. Alright, I made a mistake, but it's alright, I composed myself quite well, now Matis has caught up to me, but I don't mind, I don't mind the company, but I managed to get a really nice rejoice to the road on the long control, so now I'm already yet again ahead for everyone. But now starts the shitty part of the map, and I mean, I don't mind the green areas, but yeah, you could, lo you could get lost quite easily in the green parts. Yo, I thought I was flying through the planes, Woo! through the spectator's control, but look at me, I'm, I'm slow, I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> this Latvian championship race wasn't the fastest one, I only had a 550 pace, but I managed to balance it with no mistakes. And that was my goal, to not make any huge mistakes. And the 11th, 12th and 13th were the key controls in this race. The 13th was quite difficult because I didn't know where I was going to it and I luckily came out of the clearing so I knew how to find it. And after these couple of last controls I just knew I had a great result. <laughs> And as you can see, I completely destroyed my M20 age group. Considering that I ran against the 18 year olds as well, I'm really glad I managed to beat Austris and Gustavs because those men are beasts as well. Here we have Andris, the second place in Latvia. Yes. You got the second, so what, what happened? Oh. Un tad es vispār, es, es vienkārši gribēju trāpīt punktā, bet es ne, vispār neko nenolasīju, ne? A cik tev sanāca laiks to? O šitni te? Kīpēc cik tu iemēli? Es kļūdījos šo punktu 3 minūtes. And that's how you get selected for Jaywalk. Dreams really do come true when you put the work in. Thank you.